A mystery at sea. That's what a group of scientists is looking for right now off the coast of Virginia. It's called the Karen Seamount, and no one has seen it in person, hopefully until now. Philip Townsend explains. Scientists with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration are on a mission. Their expedition has them combing unmapped areas of seafloor hundreds of miles off the coast of Hampton Roads. There's one place in particular that's adding an element of mystery to the trip. The first known visit to an anomaly known as the Karen Seamount. NOAA scientists say there is nothing quite like it. Why? Well, no one's been there for starters, but it's also hard to get to. Think of it as an underwater island in the middle of a flat seafloor, a plateau 6,500 feet high and it could be filled with all sorts of sea life. If all goes as planned, the team will capture photos and videos of the site so we too can get to see it for the first time. All using these remotely operated vehicles that can go to the deepest depths of the sea. The two-week expedition started last week. It should wrap up by the end of this week. Part of the search also includes several stops at shipwreck sites all up and down the east coast between North Carolina and Rhode Island. Along with the photos and video, the team hopes to collect seafloor samples so geologists can get a better understanding of the seamount's origins, unraveling its mysteries for the first time. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. The expedition includes test dives in water depths up to 5,000 meters.